Hi guys, welcome back to the Insanity Carnival. Today we're gonna work on C's drum brakes, how to fix them, take them apart, and make sure they work perfectly moving forward. Let's get into it. So today we're working on a 90cc Arctic Cat Quad. This thing had both front brakes were seized. What I mean by seized is this pin here does not move at all. It is stuck on there. It is probably rusted to death in there. So we got to take it apart. First thing, let's get the wheel off. Okay, now that we got the wheel off, let's peel off this assembly and you got a castle nut under here, the cotter pin. Now we can pull this assembly out. It's jammed. Normally this hub will come apart. Leave it on the quad. There we go, break it free. This outside part is the drum. So the drum fits over the brakes versus the brakes fitting over the drum like on a dirt bike. All right. Let's see all that crud in there. Nasty. And then here's the brake assembly. And it's this pivot point here seized up, won't even move. So, take it apart. Let's get the cable off first. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out the brake pads, take off the lever spring, see if we can punch this guy out, and see just how bad it is in there. Let's do that. Now we gotta take this horseshoe spring clip out. Instead of using springs, it uses this horseshoe clip, which keeps tension on the pads. Um, there's a bunch of ways to take these out. I don't know if this is the right way, but this is my way. Stick a screwdriver in so that it opens it up a little bit. Get another screwdriver over on the other side. Pop it up and out over this pin. out you see it'll snap out or in rather and then you got to work each pad off individually start with the top Get out. Set that out. The other one here. Same deal. This guy's nasty. Oof. Okay. This here is the problem. This should spin totally free. I can barely move it with a bunch of pressure. How dry it is, full of rust, not good. So we gotta get this, this guy out. And first thing we gotta take this out. It's a... Okay. See this O-ring here? Look at it. It's dried and cracked and gone. It's 
So we'll have to get a new one of those. I'm hoping just buy a random pack of Canadian tires instead of having to order the official size. Now this guy won't come out. So if you got a hammer, you can just tap it. got it to move oh look at you see I you see in there nasty get all that rust all right so this whole area in here is all rust nasty that's what seized our pin Here's our pen, all rusty. So, how do you get the rust off? Well, throw her in some vinegar. Put it in some vinegar, just normal white vinegar here. Let it soak for 20 minutes, and then we'll come back. We'll hit it with a bit of sandpaper, some wet dry, and, uh, and while we're waiting for that to soak, let's clean up the other parts. All right, it's been soaking here for a little bit and it's starting to come apart which is good so now we're just gonna help it along the rest of the way wipe down a little brake cleaner and you gotta use some low grit high grit wet dry get in there best you can all right keep doing this Okay, we got everything clean, now it's time to reassemble. This was the part here that was seized. Now we've cleaned it all up nice. Got most of the rust off, pretty much all the crapola that was sitting on top of it, so now we gotta put it back together. I'm gonna use some ultra slick, multi-purpose synthetic grease here. I'm gonna use a bit, and I'm gonna put it on this pivot point here. Now that we got all the parts clean, this was the pin here that goes in here that was seized in tight. Now it moves freely, but we're going to start to reassemble. I'm going to use some ultra slick synthetic grease here. And we're going to grease up this pivot point. Use something that's relatively thick so it doesn't leak all over the place and get on the pads themselves. Do your best to get it in there. Whatever you got to do to smear it around. Okay, so you got that. So you got that, just reinstall it. Move it around. Beauty. Nice and freewheeling. Now, you also want to put some grease on this pivot point for where the brake pads spin on. Same deal, something thick that's not gonna leak all over. And you also want to get on this surface, this surface here, and that surface there. Because the pads pivot. Anywhere they pivot, especially when you're going to get into some water and stuff like that, definitely need to have some grease. Okay. Now that we got everything greased up, ready to roll. All right. What we're going to do is we're just going to put this on loose just so it doesn't keep sliding out the other side. It doesn't matter where you put it in this case as long as you can have it straight and in line. The way these guys work, these pins go over, one goes high, one goes low, so it fits in like that. Push one side in, fit it in, push the other side in. It doesn't want to go or you feel like it's too tight or whatever 
just got to hit her with a little grease on this pivot point. But again, make sure that you're not getting any grease on the brake pads themselves. Okay. In. Hands clean. I find the best way to get some grease off if you're just short term is a little uh, hand sanitizer. And of course with COVID, we probably have tons of it laying around. Now to put the horseshoe clip in. This one's a bit of a pain. Put it on one side, a little pressure, get into the other side and push it down. Now you need to get this lip over the other side. And that's the part everybody has trouble with, me included. But what I use, I use some ratchet, a ratchet wrench. Get it on the one side, squeeze. Hopefully, you can get it to snap over. Now I'm having trouble, can't get enough snap. So here, you wanna spread the pads a little bit. And you can see it gives you some springy, gives you a little more room to play with. Same deal. Close it a click. Try again. There we go. Now we can see, nice pivot. Everything's nice and greased up in there. Nothing's binding, it's moving free. So, now we gotta put this on properly and attach the spring. Time to put the spring back on. Pretty straightforward. Okay, spring's on. Everything's in, pivot, snaps back into place, nice and smooth. Now we just gotta put it back on the bike and reinstall in the reverse order we took it off. That's how you replace, fix a Z's drum brake on anything. Most drum brakes are all pretty much exactly the same. Thought this video was helpful, hit like and subscribe, and thanks for joining the Insanity Carnival.